My Design Rules is sponsored by Capitec. Better never rests. This is My Design Rules. Eight talented design duos from around South Africa have showed us their talents. Each duo was provided with an identical space to create a breathtaking bathroom in just three days. Tonight, the judges reveal their top four. Plus, we travel to Italy and experience the latest in global trends at the Salona del Mobile in Milan. And our four design duos officially choose between the four apartments they will be reinventing. Well, Mzanzi, what an incredibly intense week it's been. We've been diving into some of the designs from our potential duos, all the way from Joburg to Cape Town. And what an exhilarating journey it has been. But we have reached that final moment where we now need to decide who our top four design duos are going to be that will reimagine, reinvent, and redesign our block of apartments in Cape Town. But luckily, I'm not the one that needs to make this decision. We have an expert panel of judges. Special guest judges for the CTM Bathroom Challenge, Head of Marketing at the Italtal Group, Sudesh Bugaloo, and SAFTA winning reality TV show producer, Patience Stevens, are joined by the main judges of My Design Rules, Creative Director and former Decor Magazine editor, Belle Bellingham, along with Lasejo Moachi, a man who knows a thing or two about construction. I'm Lesejo Moachi, the Group Executive of Marketing for Buco and Timicity, as well as a judge for my design rules. The design duos need to do their best to plan seamlessly. They've been given great budgets to work with. They've been given all the resources they need. And that's why I'm a judge on this show. I would love to truly partner with our design duos. I'd love to tap into their imaginations and help them create realities that are beautiful and inspired. I've seen firsthand what works practically in the world of DIY and renovations, and I'm happy to guide the contestants along their journeys. I'm excited to see how the contestants push the boundaries of design and construction, creating spaces where quality meets creativity and vision meets execution. Patience, Lesejo, Bal, and Sudesh, thank you for being a part of this difficult session that we need to get through and try to figure out how we're going to find those top four designs. So let us start off with Joburg, and our first potential duo is Azueli and Tia. Now, representing the small town of Richards Bay, as you can see, they had a lot of planning, a lot of preparation went into it. But as always, I'm here to find out about your opinions. First impression is strong. I think it's a very beautiful combination of colors. It's intriguing, nice uh, mix of textures. But my first impression is good. I must say I quite enjoy this color palette, the lightness of it, you know, it's, it's very bright, it's inviting, you want to, I say, spend time in there, so I like this one. I like their personalities, that they got out there and they made it happen, and when they realized that they weren't going to finish, they went and got extra help. So they're very assertive in making sure that they get the end result. Yeah, I still remember Tia getting her hands dirty, literally on the floor scrubbing away at the tiles. What I did like about this was the good use of the colors that are on trend, the sage and uh, cotta. And I love how they've used that uh, and picking up the hues from our uh, terrazzo tile. Uh, overall, I really like this look. Next up from Joburg, we have Bula and Lungile. Now, I love the story because they both have their own thing going before this, but they approached each other on Instagram, so they haven't actually worked together for the first time. This was their opportunity to do exactly that. And they definitely came through with a finished product. <laughs> Well, I loved it that they told us the story of the arches, that the yes. arches represented their two children. I thought that was a beautiful story. It was. It was a really beautiful story. But what worries me is that plant holder. So they took two basins from CTM and instead of using them as basins, they used them to put a pot plant in. And they decorated those two basins with those small gray tiles. Why would you take two basins and turn them into a pot plant holder? I mean, to me, that's wasteful. Definitely unnecessary. 
quite a beautiful design concept, but in terms of how it's overall landed, I'm not so sure. The arches are kind of cool. The LED lights in the arches, I think is maybe a little too much. Um, it, it kind of, yeah, it's jarring. I, I wouldn't want to spend too much time in that space and maybe dim it down a bit. Like there's a lot going on. I think that the mix of tiles is controversial. The beautiful use of the main feature tiles it does look a bit like a spaceship with all the lighting. A little bit. <laughs> it did go a bit over the top. Yeah, yeah. Now this is the interesting one. We're talking about Amy and Joshua, who were our individual entries that we actually paired together. The way they handled things was pretty interesting to say the least, but I'm more interested to see what you think of their design. Yeah, they were ambitious, also emotional. I know they went through a lot during the build, but I really liked the fact that they pushed it a bit in terms of uh, the brief. Yeah, I was quite happy with the end result. I think this is strong. It's, it's really good and it could be anywhere in the world, which I think makes it globally relevant and covetable. Beautiful use of tiles. I've done a curved wall like that. It's hard with the tile. <laughs> it is, it is it not is. easy. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think I'd feel very good in there. I understand that the curve is absolutely beautiful, it's on trend, but was it too ambitious for a three-day project? That's, that's my question. So when I look at this, uh, you talk about it being kind of worldly and global. So immediately I think hotel room when I look at this, which isn't bad, but not from an everyday perspective. I also feel like from a space usage perspective, there are some spaces that I don't think were optimally used, particularly on the side of the arch. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, what else could they have done there? Okay. But besides that, definitely ambitious. Um, maybe with a little extra time, something else would have been done. And our last duo from Joburg, Sipe and Bapilele. Brothers, of course, and both very stylish fashionista. They got that Joburg energy. What I do love about this is very on trend. Uh, you said the brothers are trendy. This is 100% on trend. Love the use of the, the taps, the fixtures. You know, you can't go wrong with the black, obviously. Uh, and, and very on trend. You know, it's too on trend. It's too on trend. I almost it's feel like it's, it's a perfect mood board. It's very masculine. Yes. Which is not a bad thing. I just, it looks a bit cookie cutter. The composition is perfect. I mean, you cannot fault that composition. Your eyes guided to the right places. It also looks like they really did it very beautifully and well. It's a, it's a strong, strong design. It is, and I think even the recess in terms of storage, they thought through that. So yeah, it was a good look. What I love about them, they are influenced by their mother. They look up to their mother. Their mother has had great success and they were inspired by her success and by her work ethic. Mm. And I appreciated that. Yeah, it was yeah. a beautiful story. Absolutely, yeah. I love that as well. Up next, we look inside the apartment block our design duos will be reinventing and travel to Milan for the Salona del Mobile. Plus, find out how you can win 5,000 Rand courtesy of Capitech. Capitech. Do it all on our app. Just like that. The vibrant upmarket suburb of Seapoint is one of the most sought-after real estate markets in the country. And this is where the old apartment block lies, ready for a new lease on life. Hey, hey, what is up Nzanzi? Now I'm out here in Seapoint Cape Town and behind me is a building that our four talented design duos are going to transform into something incredible. Now, life here in this vibrant part of the city is what's going to form the foundation for their inspiration. So I guess it's fitting that we find out what life is like here and what they're going to be working with. Okay, now before we even let our design duos wave their wands and turn this place into some magic, we're going to find out from one of the current residents, Liam, what life is like living out in this building. Let's go find out. Ah, uh, Liam, how are you doing, man? Good, thanks yourself. Fantastic. Can we come inside? Yeah, sure. Welcome. <laughs> okay. Well, Liam, I definitely can feel the coziness and it feels like this place is solid, bro. <laughs> uh, it's definitely old as well. It's quite an old building. The back there, we have the kitchen, quite small. Uh, my room's over there and my roommate's over here. And over here, we have the, the main room, which is the living room. 
What drew you to this building in the first place? It's definitely lovely to live here. Uh, the location is great, a couple of minutes outside of town. The views are great, the weather's always better around Sea Point as well. Lots to do, especially when it comes to the social outside activities, but when it comes to inside, especially this building, where do you find yourself gravitating towards the most? It's definitely the balcony, the balcony around the corner. I'm assuming it's the views, right? It definitely is. Oh, let's go check it out. Oh, ho, ho, this is nice, man. Ooh, I like it. Yeah, <laughs> as you can see, the ocean is just completely coming into the apartment, lets in a lot of light. The space is big enough for a few people. I've taken over most of the space because I do work here a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's great. Are you very much involved in design when it comes to both fashion and construction? So with your expertise, what would you do to change this space and elevate it? I would definitely make it a bit more open plan. If we can take down maybe this wall and have this whole space a bit more open, that would probably be a good start at least. Yeah, I can definitely see how this would elevate the space. I believe though that this building is in fact close to 100 years old. That's huge. A lot of heritage here. What do you love about living here? I love the fact that there's four different apartments in one building. So there's a, like, there's a strong sense of community here. The big large patio down there is definitely a place that can be utilized a lot more. We spend a lot of time together. We have like Sunday brides. That is a space I would definitely keep. What would you change about this space? The first thing that comes to mind, I would say, is the bathroom. It's quite small. Um, we only just get a washing machine in there, which is quite inconvenient sometimes. And then I would say the, the wooden floors. The wooden floors are quite loud and quite old and hard to maintain. Well, you can clearly see what Liam's working with when it comes to your designs, but let's find out what our design you are going to be working with and let me show you the rest of this place. We've just stepped into unit number four and I'm about to meet an ocean guardian and warrior just like myself. He goes by the name of John and he's been in this building for almost 70 years. So if there's anybody who knows their way around this place, it's definitely this guy. John, how are you doing? Great, thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too, man. Thank you for having me in your space. Uh, how old exactly is this building? The building is now close to 90 years old. You've lived here for so long. You know this building inside and out. What would you change in this building if you could do anything? The rooms uh, blend themselves to be taken back a little bit to the sort of vintage with the flooring and the wooden door frames and, and the doors and stuff. The fact that we've got fireplaces, you can now these days put a, a gas uh, fire in, which would be nice for winter time. What is the one thing that you'd love to see them keep in their design? The door frames, even the doors, some of the original doors that are still on, uh, are Oregon pine underneath. So that lends itself, if they cleaned up to back to the wood sort of stage, it lends itself to modern furniture being brought into the same environment with antiques or vintage stuff. So vintage and modern can live together. As long as the designer is designed from the heart, I'm sure the Olga will be very happy with her new mantle and I'm looking forward to see what she's going to look like when they're finished. <laughs> look, I absolutely love that and I'm so grateful for the insights that you've given us into this building. It really does truly speak to the soul of this space and the question is, what will this mean for our designers? In search of inspiration, Ryle flies courtesy of Air France to Milan for the Salona del Mobile, considered the number one event on the global interior design calendar. Touchdown in the design capital of the world. Welcome to Milan. Now this is where we're going to explore a world of design, color, texture, and so much more because right here at the Salona di Mobile, it's where all artists and designers congregate to seek inspiration that they can take back home. And we're gonna do exactly that. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Italy. And welcome to the magic. We're here at the Salona del Mobile, along with many South African faces, as we bring you to the forefront of inspiration when it comes to design. Also at the event is my design rules judge, Bell Bellingham, who is always looking for the latest trends as executive creative director for Decorex, Africa's leading design and decor platform. Well, it's so good to bump into a familiar local face and I know you're pretty much a specialist when it comes to design expos and trade fairs like this. Comparing local to international, what do you see there to be a difference and what are you taking from the inspiration you've seen here? It's obviously always mind-bending being at this show. It really is, it kind of, um, I don't know, it just opens up your way of thinking. But the really exciting thing is that as South Africans, when I first used to come here, I kind of didn't understand anything. Whereas now we're starting with access to information. 
we know a lot of this thing. A lot of a lot of these designs are already in South Africa. It's just consolidating and confirming what we know. And yeah, we are global. We are globally relevant. Uh, we are able to compete on equal standards, which is really exciting to see and to feel and to know. If we were to talk more specific about some of the colors, the textures, and the overall design inspo, what are you sort of getting your finger on when it comes to identifying these trends? I think the thing that's moving everything is this idea of circularity. On all the stands, there's uh, mention of it, there's reference to it. It's affecting our colors, it's affecting our materials. Everything that we're seeing has kind of got that driving it. We're seeing a lot of the typical, well not typical, but things that we saw last year, but are kind of just moving a little bit. There's lots of lilac, there's lots of blush, blush with black, uh, lots of sage green, also dark olive greens, um, lots of green. And I think the green is coming from this idea of biophilia. Our relationship to nature is changing slowly. We're starting to realize we can't dominate her anymore. We have to work with nature. So that you're seeing in a lot of the stands, even in the neutrals, the neutrals are feeling more layered, more textural, more gritty, more natural. With the plethora of inspiration that is here, what sort of advice would you have for us as we try to take some of this inspo back home with us? Our homes are very important spaces and yes, they have to look good, but they also need to be us. They need to express us, they need to work well, and there's a lot of technology here, integrated technology, um, in order to make our homes more efficient, more energy efficient, more just work with us. And leading the way with cutting-edge smart technology is Samsung, who showcase their latest home appliances. Whoa, oh, I'm feeling at home here. I recognize these products and I know it's bespoke thanks to Samsung. I'm dying to find out what Samsung has when it comes to creating a smart home and also maybe creating efficiency because back home we're dealing with a bit of a power problem at the moment. What do you got for us? Don't worry, we got you. Oh, this looks like a showstopper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> As you can see, it's really, really big, it really space. It takes a lot of space, but actually this is a washer and a dryer all together. As you can see, we have so many different cycles and also a type of AI wash and dry that just lets your machine choose the best washing cycle for you. Okay, what on earth is going on here? Is it a fridge, is it a freezer or is it a TV? Everything, <laughs> everything all in one. This is our built-in fridge, BMF, bottom mounted, mounted freezer. Oh, nice. So you can put a big dish in there that might not fit in a small fridge. Exactly. Not just it's incredibly huge, huge, but we are being watched right now because there's a camera. There's a camera that's going to scan all our food inside the fridge. Nah. You know I'm going to ask you to test this, right? I, I, swear. I, need to, I need to find something here. So you're telling me if you put this in a little track that you're putting an onion? Yes. I don't believe it. You've got to prove this. Let's see. I'll show you. I'm going to put okay. this right in. You I heard, heard that, that sound. Yeah. Let's just wait a couple of seconds. So it actually is... What? Now, you know, one thing that definitely stands out for me in a good home is that smell of like a roast or something cooking in the oven. What options do you have when it comes to this? Hey, we have a lot of options. We are talking about an oven that's actually two ovens in one, if you know what I mean, because here I'm cooking something and you could say, okay, just a normal oven, but instead, we have oh. two different ovens. Let's say I want to cook a very big dish. I take this off and I have a huge oven all for one dish. Let's say you want to cook here something and on the lower part, bread or whatever you want. Dual cook system. So something here, something down, two complete different temperatures. Oh, wow. That is efficiency. That is time saving. That is amazing. While exploring more of the incredible design on offer at the expo, Ryle connects with another familiar face, Sajesh Bagaloo. Sudesh, CTM are such a huge partner and sponsor in My Design Rules, and I'm really grateful that you brought me here to seek some inspiration. What are you hoping to see incorporated into our home's design? Is it texture? Is it color? Uh, or is it something else completely? It's good that you mentioned texture and color because that's what we've seen here at the show today. It's been all about texture. It's a shift from a less is more to a more is more type approach. So it's all about bold, texture, color, 
patterns. And that's really what we're hoping to see in the apartments coming forward. What is on the top of your list when it comes to the designs that you've seen so far? So as CGM, we're extremely excited to partner with My Design Rules. What I'm looking for from the contestants is for them to really push the boundaries. I want them to explore the options. Don't play it safe. They need to be creative with their budgets. And like we've seen all the inspiration here today, I'm hoping that they will be able to translate that into each of those apartments. Beyond the event itself, the historical city offers architectural inspiration, like the Milan Cathedral, which took more than 600 years to build. I mean, honestly, look around you. Everywhere there is some form of inspiration from the architecture to the entire ambiance. How can you not find inspiration at every step you walk in this place? Up next, the judges have reviewed the Joburg hopefuls and now it's Cape Town's turn. Plus, stay tuned for your chance to win 5,000 Rand cash from Capitech. Whether you're looking for a lock up and go, or a settle down and grow, an office for your booming business, or a safe haven, we have a space for you. The Joburg hopefuls impressed the judges with their bathroom designs, but there are four more duos who showcase their talents in Cape Town. Well, we're done with Joburg. Let's move over to Cape Town. And uh, first up, we have Yashna and Alyssa. Now, very bubbly, present characters. I love the energy that they had. But what they were going for was somewhat of a zen experience with their bathroom. Yeah, I, I, I think the look they were going for and I think just the contrast of the black and white in that herringbone style just didn't work. And had they gone for all white, perhaps it could have given them more of that, that feel. I think it just didn't deliver on the Zen look they were looking for. I don't get the sense of Zen when I look at this. For me, the greenery, um, I understand the connotation of green, you know, calm, it's your living space, that sort of thing, but I don't believe it works well in a bathroom. Well, they tried to get the Zen feel through their scrubs, through their scents. So they tried to get a sensory feeling through the accessories. But I agree, the zigzag, it's not calming. Mm -mm. I mean, bathrooms are supposed to be energizing, mm. which, and that zigzag's definitely energizing. But I think they missed it if they were trying to be calming. They've done the opposite. Correct. Next, we have Hannah and Keaton. Now, officially, they don't have any real formal training in the space, but they both have worked together with a Michelin star chef. So essentially, they know how to deal with pressure. There was a lot of pressure for this challenge and uh, they came through with the design. What are your thoughts? I like it because it's heritage. It has a feeling of being old and new and almost futuristic. And to your point about the formal training, I don't think that's a massive issue. I mean, you can see that they've been able to communicate their ideas. It's been executed simply but well. The green is controversial on the <laughs> sunwear, but I like it. I mean, retro. yeah, it's retro. It's, it feels very heritage. No, absolutely. And I think, the, like you say, the, the green isn't for everyone, <laughs> but definitely a mixture of old and new. I'm looking at this and I, I compare it to the other projects, um, especially where we say it's more on trend, mm -hmm. it's more timeless. And I look at this and I go, okay, this is very old school for me. Even the, the, the way they've used the tile, the flooring tiles, so it's a very old school sort of combination that they put together, but in a weird way it works. And also they were clever with their capital cash allocation. They went to thrift shops in Strand and they sourced a lot of those items. They sprayed to match what didn't match. So I thought that was clever use of what they got from Capitec. And next up we have Mpumalelo and Mongezi. Now both originally from KZN. One is an interior designer, the other a 3D artist. So this seems like a good combination, but did that potential show in their design? Ooh. Whoa. Not one of my favorite looks, and I think just the way in which they utilize the space, uh, especially with the bath and the way they've raised that is not practical. Yeah. I'll cut in some slack. I mean, if you had some good uh, mobility and range, you could, you could yeah, just do this and get in there. Simple, I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> 
And what worried me, they were the second duo who tried to create their own vanity. Now, to me, you're in CTM, you have all these beautiful basins, why on earth would you want to build your own vanity and not use one of the beautiful basins that are all around you? And they said that was a design feature, they wanted something individual, special, but you're looking at that, is that individual and special enough to justify the amount of time and effort that went into creating it? Yeah, I mean, also that central toilet unit is cut into the plinth, um, so bad planning there. Look, we just picked it up. You said uh, an interior design and a 3D artist. Yeah. So from a planning perspective, you'd expect that they've got the plan right, they've got Agreed. the look right. And, and maybe it's the lack of practical experience that led to the plan not being executed as well as what they thought it would be done. Next up, we have Tabang and Bungani. Friends since Varsity days, obviously that means they've done a lot of projects together. This might have been the biggest one they've attempted so far. The overall design is what I'm concerned about. Mm, I like this. I think it is timeless. I do query why they didn't use more of that beautiful tile yeah. and potentially on that feature wall. But its simplicity is alluring to me. You say the simplicity is alluring. There's something about it that's almost too simple, but also a little too complicated. I'm looking at, also look at the black fixtures, you know, um, look at the concealed system with the white toilet. Uh, for me, it's those little tweaks could have been done better. But I agree, they, they could have used the tile a lot better. It's just a pity, because it's a beautiful tile and it could have really changed the look. Yeah, there should have been more of that tile on the painted wall, so that it picked up that corner on the wall and it's a very on-trend color as well. Yeah. Well, judges, these are all exceptional points that you're bringing across, and we still have to figure out who our top four duo is going to be. We have to rank them, of course, because this is the order in which they will decide on what their apartments are going to be. With that being said, what are your final thoughts on that? I'm gonna go with Amy and Joshua. The Kit Kat use of the tile, or the Kit Kat tile on that curve, it has captured my imagination. I have to say, the evergreen bath also, I mean, it's just got me. We love green. <laughs> <laughs> but Can avocado me. green in a bathroom? <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I'm, I'm really going to have to challenge that one. Fair enough. It is the retro look, though. Mm. Hmm. I definitely liked the look from the brothers in Johannesburg. Really delivered on that uh, brief. Also, the team from Richards Bay, I thought, also had something nice uh, in, in how they brought that look together. I agree with you about the brothers from Joburg. Very on trend, very stylish, um, and I'd love to see what else they can do in different spaces. I loved Bula and Lungile's bathroom. I loved the lighting in it. I didn't like their use of craft because I thought that was a problem and trying to create their own basin. But the lighting, I thought the lighting was brilliant. It set that stand apart. With all those great comments, judges, do we have our top four duo and our rankings? I think we do. Yeah, yep. I do. Definitely. Eight incredible design duos showed us what they've got, but which four have the judges chosen to progress through to the next round of the competition? Stay tuned to find out as we reveal them on location at the apartment block in Seapoint. Happy Tech. Do it all on our app, just like that. How much can you endure? This is how much we can. Caesarstone, designed to endure life. The long wait finally comes to an end as we head to Seapoint in Cape Town, where our four design duos are ready to be revealed. Hey, hey, we are back right here at the My Design Rules block of apartments, and I'm pretty sure you're all dying to know who made it into our top four. Well, without further ado, let's bring them in. Now, first up, we have our boys dripping in swag, the brothers from Johannesburg, none other than Sipe and Papi Lele. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, gentlemen. <laughs> Making it to my design rules is an honor of the neighborhood we've done, so I'm kind of proud, you know. 
Yeah, we made it to Cape Town. It's an amazing feeling. It's a homecoming for us. Yeah. You know, um, being based in Joburg, this way we started everything, and we're here now on the coast. It's breathtaking. Hey! Okay, there you go. <laughs> it is official. Yeah. And our next duo, reigning from the small town of Richards Bay, it's none other than Tia and Zueli! <laughs> Obviously, I'm really excited to be here. First time in Cape Town, never been in Cape Town, and seeing the apartment for the first time. There's a lot of heritage, there's a lot of character in the building, which is really nice. You ready for this journey? Yes, 100%. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Now, next up, we have our individual entries. They never met each other before. They are now turning into a power duo already. They are none other than Amy and Josh. Hey. Hey. We're so excited to be on Midas on Rules. We finally made it through. Super excited. Josh and Amy, we left that last challenge with a lot of emotion. It was a roller coaster. But did you ever think that you'd get across the line and all the way here to Cape Town? It was intense, I must say, but we're going to handle this better. Feels like a Josh and Amy 2.0 right now. And with that, let me introduce you to our final duo, fresh, homegrown, right here from Cape Town. We're talking about Hannah and Keaton. There are a lot of new faces. Nobody we recognize. Oh, no. So <laughs> yeah, it's pretty clear and evident that we are the only team from Cape Town that has made it through. Crazy. Um, we have no idea what we're up against. Yeah, so a little bit nervous, but should be fine. Welcome to Cape Town and officially you are our top four design duos for this edition of My Design Rules. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> now, if you look around, there has already been a little bit of work going on, but this building is in need of some TLC. It's a heritage building that is over 100 years old. And with that, this is going to require 12 weeks of your blood, sweat and tears to revamp and turn these apartments into an incredible design that represents all your skills. But not only that, you're also in the running for a prize of 100,000 Rand for our viewers' choice, plus that grand prize of 300,000 Rand, compliments of Capitec business, and that's hopefully to better your future careers. How does that sound, people? Come on! Amazing. 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 <laughs> now, You've got your competition right in front of you. How are we all feeling about the challenges ahead, knowing that this is who you're going to be up against? Josh and Amy? This is a strong lot of designers. We've got our work cut out for us. Hannah and Keaton, not really the underdogs, but no one has any idea how you work and what your designs look like. Do you think this is going to play in your favor? Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. It's good to have a little bit of mystery to you. Yeah, and we were the underdogs before, you know, not having a history in interior design or architecture. So I think that was our strength before and we're hoping to use it again. Yes. Zvelia and Tia, how are you guys feeling about the challenge ahead and the representing not only yourselves and your design, but Richard's Bay too? Being here is uh, it's really inspiring for our small town. We're ready to show Cape Town what we've got. <laughs> now let me just adjust my stance here as a chat to the boys with swag. Listen, yes, gentlemen, the swag has got you this far. Do you think it's going to always be the trump card when it comes to design or is there more to come from you? We always have something up our sleeves and it's a competition and we're not here to participate, we're here to win, so yeah. Do you did you hear that? <laughs> Now, I know there's a lot of excitement here and you're dying to know what it looks like on the inside. But just a reminder, before we even get into it, our judges not only chose our top four, but had to go through the painstaking process of ranking you from first to fourth. And a reminder that that will be the order in which you choose your apartments. You ready for this one? Yes, sir. Yeah. Any guesses as to who might have been the winner for the challenge? We think we won in Cape Town. <laughs> <laughs> we won, don't go with that one. Huh? Our fourth duo in fourth place and last to choose the apartment will be Hannah and Keaton from Cape Town. Well, it kind of sucks to be us right now. Picking last, more like not picking at all. Yes, 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 yes. 
Our next duo in third place, and they will be second last to choose the apartment, will be Josh and Amy. Number three is my number, so I mean... Ah, oh, is it? Yeah, we have to use it. Lucky number three. Lucky number three. <laughs> well, that leaves us with two duos. And officially, our winners of our CTM bathroom challenge and our first duo to choose their apartment will be none other than... Tian Zweli! <laughs> Yay, we team number one. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. That officially means that second duo to choose their apartments will be the brothers from Joburg. Congratulations, everybody. Now, duos, before we choose our apartments, there's one more thing we have to do, and that's pick our theme. This year on My Design Rules, we're letting nature inspire us with our themes for each apartment. And the options will be earth, wind, fire, and water. Each can beside me represents a different color, and that color is associated with your apartment's theme. We have terracotta, which represents earth, gray, which represents wind, dirty pink, which represents fire, and sage green to represent water. First choice theme-wise... Yeah, what's um, yours? Probably earth. I'd say earth as well. Yeah, me. I feel like there's so much you can do with earth. Now, you're gonna grab any of these cans randomly, and once you've chosen your apartment, you spray your team's name on the canvas in that apartment. All right, with that being said, first up, Tian Zueli, choose your spray can and your apartment. We're very excited that we're the best, and we're here to bring our A game. Yeah. We need to keep up what we did at the CTM challenge and now bring it into our apartment. The four design duos have been revealed, as well as the order in which they choose their apartments. With four unique options, they'll have to weigh up the pros and cons of each. The two apartments on the top floor feature a balcony area and incredible views but the ground floor apartments have garden access with space to stretch your green fingers. I like this one. I like this. this. My initial reaction seeing the apartment is she's old, but yeah. she's a goldie. And we're so excited to see what she looks like at the end. There's a lot at stake. The winning duo will take home 300,000 Rand from Capitec. And the duo who is the viewer's choice will win 100,000 Rand. And this is your chance to win 5,000 Rand cash from Capitec. To enter, let us know which apartment you would choose. Top floor for the view or bottom floor for the garden access. Reply to the competition post on the My Design Rules social platforms and include hashtag Capitec and hashtag My Design Rules. Stand a chance to win a weekend away in the winning apartment with Buco. Dial star 120 star 62800 hash and follow the prompts to enter. Begin with Buco. No, 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 Who says no to a cappuccino? Jacobs, Wunderbar. Our second ranked pair and duo, the brothers from Johannesburg. You guys are up next. Choose your cans wisely as well as your apartments. The building block is quite interesting. There's a bit of character. It is a heritage space. There are limitations, but also there's beauty of history. There's always a lot we can pick up on and just put on top of that and just create magic. I'm just trying to imagine the bulkhead. Yeah. You know how that look. I really enjoy the natural light here. Uh, and it's a cute patio. Oh, bedroom. It looks squeezed up, man. Yeah, they kind of look small. Yeah, they look, they look small. So like for me, I think it's a matter of really like going to the plan and kind of like laying out stuff mm. and seeing like how much space do we really have. Josh and Amy, you're up next. Choose wisely. Well, finally, of course, Ethan and Hannah, 
grab your can, feel free to look around at all the apartments, but as you know, you'll have to take what you get. It is what it is. <laughs> Wow, look at this face. Okay. I love it. I like the lighting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This face feels ultimately bigger. Yes. I also like that there's a little court right here. Yeah, yeah, and you've got that open space in front of the yard. Yes. So that's Ooh. a big Yeah. <laughs> that's a big profile this space. I like it. It's so spectacular to work with a heritage building. Yes. First of all. Beautiful shell. I mean, yeah. I can respect the heritage, but I mean... It's, she needs work. <laughs> she needs a lot of work. She needs a lot of tea to the L to the C. <laughs> but yeah, no, we're gonna get in there and yeah, create some magic. Whoa, kitchen, kids. Kitch is the right <laughs> word. Yeah, I'm seeing some retro tiles over here. Which, I mean, I don't think, not even we could make that work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot will have to change in here. Yeah. To be honest, it's not speaking to me that much. Yeah. I don't know. Let's take a look at the rest. Let's do. Master bedroom. Yeah. It's quite dark in here, I Very, have to say. Yeah. No, we definitely need light if we do end up with this unit. Um, yeah, open up, get that whole sea vista. Yeah. But nice to see the sunset from up here. It is nice. Definitely a pro for this apartment. Yeah, for the top, the top ones. But I mean, like I said, they're a hot commodity. But <laughs> we will make... We'll make anything work. We will make whatever comes our way work. Pros and cons of being downstairs, I think. It comes with the views and the lights also. Natural light also it just feels way better. You know, like waking up in the morning, you don't have to turn your lights on, the room is already bright. I guess it's, I'm, I'm still taking everything in. <laughs> but at the same time, to each their own. Yeah. yeah. As the duos work their way through the apartments and consider each option, the question is, will they get the one they want? I think for starters, we've got an amazing view. The only downfall about this is, I think, wind. If these windows are not properly sealed, this apartment will be very cold because you don't have any buildings that's going to protect it from any wind that comes from outside. But other than that, there's a lot of potential in this place. Okay. What do you have in mind here? That sun is so harsh. Yeah. Glaring off the sea. It is. So I think this is going to be a tough decision. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's, we've got a lot to think about. Yeah. I love the ocean views. It really enhances the that area in this amazing. Yeah. I'd love to sit here and this be my lounge view. Imagine wow. coming here in the morning with your tea, with your coffee, with your chai. You know, <laughs> enjoying the I can nice envision it. So. I can literally just see this place coming together. This is amazing. I'm looking forward to the challenge. Yeah. I think we got this. We decided to pick one of the top apartments. We feel really great about mm. that because uh, it has really nice views. We, we love it. Let's spray and see our color palette. Uh, uh, How do you feel? I like this. We are team water. water. It's going to be quite a challenge. Mm, it's yeah. definitely not our color palette that we both used to. Yeah. But we're going to let the views of the outside of the apartment yeah, from the our ocean view. And we're going to bring it into our apartment. So that's our whole concept. Imagine, dog, like waking up and coming here. You know? Open the window. Break of dawn. Nice coffee. Can you imagine the summer nights over here, bro? Bro. And you know, Cape Town and sunsets. Yeah, I like this apartment. TN's really already got the other upstairs apartment. So what you think? Let's get it. We're choosing the apartment at the top because it has an amazing view. And the balcony space is really, really amazing because you, you get to like, you know, when you're hosting, have sundowners there, you know, with a special somebody. <laughs> Are you ready? Go. Ah, what? Hands, man. 
So we've got a third element. Terracotta. I love brown. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> I love earthy things. So this is actually dope. I feel like this color palette yeah. will be amazing. I can see the gold. I can see the, you know, I can already see it like just add on together. We just feel like everything we touch turns into gold. So like whatever you give us, we're going to make magic out of it. Yeah, you know, we'll so we, we're happy. I'm very happy. You're happy with this place? Well, it's either this one or the one next door. So I, I like this one. I, I do. Honestly? Yeah, yeah. Right. Now the big question is, yeah. are you ready to spray? Yes. Okay, I let's am. spray this thing. Okay. <laughs> the top two apartments have already been taken, but that doesn't matter. We actually wanted this bottom apartment. <gasps> oh, sorry. No! Air! We got the air! I guess we are team A. <laughs> I was hoping for fire to push my boundaries. Ugh, it's, it's just so grey. It's so... Last year. <sighs> oh, shit. This is beautiful. I mean, this is our aesthetic, if this is Already. all we had to work with. <laughs> Yeah. We don't get to choose the apartment, but we like to think the apartment chose us. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting a good feeling here. It's got a yeah, lovely like, sense about yes, it, I'd yes. say. Let's see what we got. Okay. <gasps> Woo! Fire! That's yeah. super cool. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we're team fire. The first thing when you think of a theme is the colour. Fire, you know, the obvious one you go to is red. red. But there's so much more. And yeah. I think it's going to encourage us to be bold, which I think it's in us. Mm. I'm ready to get my fingers burnt. Come on, let's go make a fire. Let's go. <laughs> this Four talented duos fired up and inspired to reimagine their apartment. Well, there you have it. Our top four duos have chosen their apartments. Let your masterpiece begin. <laughs> Ready to embark on the journey of a lifetime, Sipe and Papalele take stock of the day's events and look forward to the challenge that lies ahead. It's game on and the competition is tough. Brother May, I don't know how I feel about second place. I don't come second in nothing. But, you know, <laughs> we roll with the punches. I love the fact that now we are the dogs and we have to like work harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know, it's it's a give and take for me, you know. How do you feel about the theme? The theme Earth for me, I think that's where like that's where the money is at, bro. Yeah. And also like I just really think it speaks to us in volumes, you know. We come from the soil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are really gonna take this far. There's a lot of depth, there's greens. Let the games begin, brother. Game of Thrones, eh? Play to win. Let's gonna take the third. Play to win or not play at all. My Design Rules is sponsored by Capitec. Better never rests. Another feel good production.